addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Good day students! Today, we are going to learn how to add and subtract dissimilar fractions with or without regrouping. Let us start! Oh, look! We have our first problem. It's one-fourth plus one-half. Hmm. These fractions are dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar fractions have different denominators. Now, how do we solve this one? Hmm. Oh, let us draw for some representations. One-fourth can be represented as a whole divided into four equal parts where one part is taken while one half can be represented as the whole divided into two equal parts where one part is taken now let us add these two representations hmm how are we going to add them oh no to add these representation we need to divide each square into the same number of equal parts. But how are we going to do that? Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I will draw another line here. There. Now, they both have four equal parts. Now we can add them now. There. We can see that we have three taken parts out of four equal parts that makes three out of four or three parts now we can notice that one fourth is still one fourth while one half became two fourths that means one half is equivalent to two fourths. We can see that we are adding one fourths plus two fourths. And they are similar fractions. We learned from our last lesson that to add similar fractions, we simply add numerators. One plus two is three. And copy the common denominator four. That makes our answer three great job now how are we going to add or subtract the similar fractions without even drawing any representation hmm. do you have any idea let me hear from you okay here it is to add the similar fractions we need to first get the LCD we need to get the LCD or the least common denominator of 4 and 2. But how do I get the LCD? Let us have a quick review. To get the LCD, we need to get the least common multiple of the denominators. Let us list down first the multiples of 4. While the multiples of 2 are, we can see from here that their least common multiple is 4. Now our LCD is 4. There you go. Now let's write the LCD here. Now what is our next step? We saw earlier that in order for us to add fractions, we have to make it similar fractions. Now, to make it similar fractions, we need to get the equivalent fraction of each fraction that has 4 as the denominator. Since 1 fourth already have 4 as the denominator, we can just simply copy 1 as the numerator. Because 1 fourth is the same as 1 fourth. Now let's get the equivalent fraction of 1 half. We need to make the denominator 2 into 4. We can see that we can multiply 2 by 2 to make it 4. 
Remember, what you do to the numerator, you should do it to the denominator and vice versa. Now, let's multiply 2 to the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. Therefore, 1 half is equivalent to 2 fourths. Or you can also do like this. 4 divided by 2 is 2. We multiply 2 to the numerator. So 1 times 2 is 2. It's just the same. Now, our next step is to add the numerators. 1 plus 2 is 3. And copy the denominator, 4. So our answer is 3 fourths. Great job! Now let us try to answer some more. 1 6 plus 1 fourth. What is the first step? Yes, you are right. Let us get the least common denominator of 6 and 4. Let's list it down first. Oh, now we can see that their LCD is 12. Next step, we need to get the equivalent fraction of 1 6 and 1 4 that have 12 as the denominator. Now, let us get the equivalent fraction of 1 6 that has 12 as the denominator. So, let us divide 12 by 6. It's 2. Multiply it to the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2. Now, let's get the equivalent fraction of 1 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Times 1 is 3. Now, let's add the numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. Copy the denominator, 12. Now, this is our final answer. Another example. Now, let us try subtraction. First step? Yes. Let's get first the LCD of 3 and 2. Multiples of 3 are? Well, the multiples of 2 are? Now, we can see that their LCD is 6. Now, let us get the equivalent fraction of 2 thirds that has 6 as the denominator. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Multiply it to the numerator. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, let's get the equivalent fraction of 1 half. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times the numerator 1 is 3. Now, let us subtract the numerators. 4 minus 3 is 1. Copy the denominator, 6. Since this is the simplest form, this is our final answer. Let's have another one. First step, get the LCD of 6 and 3. We can see that their LCD is 6. Now, let's get their equivalent fractions. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Multiplied to 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Multiplied to 1 is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 out of 6. Our final answer is 5 sixths. Now, 5 sixths minus 3 eighths. First step, get the LCD of 6 and 8. We can see that their LCD is 24. Now let's get their equivalent fractions. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Multiplied to 5 is 20. 
24 divided by 8 is 3. Multiply to 3 is 9. 20 minus 9 is 11. Copy the denominator 24. Our final answer is 11 24. Now let us try adding mixed numbers with the similar fraction. We are just going to do the same method. First, get the LCD. Their LCD is 10. Now let's get the equivalent fractions. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Multiply to 1 is 2. Now 10 divided by 2 is 5. Multiply to 1 is 5. Now let's add the numerators. 2 plus 5 is 7. Copy the denominator, 10. Now, let us add the whole numbers. 1 plus 5 is 6. Since our answer is in simplest form, this is now our final answer. Now, let us subtract mixed numbers. First step, get the LCD of 4 and 6. Now their LCD is 12. Now let us get the equivalent fractions. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Multiply to 1 is 3. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Multiply to 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Copy the denominator, 12. Now let us subtract the whole numbers. 3 minus 1 is 2. Now this is our final answer. Great job! You made it! We are already done. Here are the things that you learned today.